Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to speak to my substitute to HCR 1-1, introduced by my good friend. Uh, our Constitution has demonstrated and continues to demonstrate the critical balancing act between state sovereignty and federalism. And this nation has undergone major changes since it first declared its independence in 1776 through a civil war, westward expansion, industrial revolution, world wars, and waves of immigration. And while the Tenth Amendment is a critical uh, part of our sovereignty as a state, so is the Fourteenth Amendment, and each sub amendment supports one another. And there's some language in this resolution that I found troubling in committee, uh, particularly in paragraph eight, which cites a list of concerns about the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. And the legal theory underlying this resolution would seem to spell an end to the enforcement of federal civil rights laws. This sub, which I'm offering, clarifies that the 14th Amendment has played a, a critical role in protecting the rights of United States citizens. Among other things, the Due Process Clause has ensured that all citizens enjoy the right to freedom of speech under the First Amendment, are protected against illegal searches and seizures under the Fourth Amendment, have the right to legal counsel despite their means under the Sixth Amendment, and are protected against the infliction of cruel and unusual punishment under the Eighth Amendment. Instead, HCR 1-1 states that the courts have used the 14th Amendment in the mid-1900s to shape society according to their own philosophies, which has rendered the Tenth Amendment useless. My sub clarifies that the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment was a central force in the Civil Rights Movement as a shield against discriminatory laws. In the historic Brown versus Board of Education case, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that state laws providing for segregated public schools based on race were unconstitutional. In Loving v. Virginia, the U.S. Supreme Court found that state laws that prohibited interracial marriage were unconstitutional. And both of these landmark rulings were based on protections of the 14th Amendment. That language in my sub urges the Supreme Court to continue its critical role in protecting citizens' rights under the 14th Amendment instead of proclaiming that the court uses its authority uh, never granted to it by the people, which HCR 1-1 states. So I, I, I thank you for the opportunity to speak to the substitute, and I welcome its adoption. Thank you, Representative Moss. The question before the House is the adoption of the substitute. All those in favor of the substitute will say aye. Those opposed will say nay. The substitute is not adopted. There are further amendments. The, the clerk will read there being no further amendments, the question before the House is the adoption of the resolution. All of those in favor of the resolution will say aye. Those opposed will say nay. The resolution is adopted.